I'm not going to say that modern technology like lasers and software, things like that, has made me lazy when it comes to building RC airplanes. I prefer to think of it as working smarter, not harder. Hopefully I can show you a few ways to do exactly that. Hey everybody. I've been uh, doing a little scratch building. You know, take a box of sticks, one of these, spend a couple of hours, you finally got an aileron done, right? Now, I've got an X-Tool D1 laser, which is wonderful for cutting out bulkheads and, and different pieces uh, for an airplane. I wanted to be able to do this hand assembly stuff a lot quicker. And uh, by the way, this, this piece here took about 30 minutes. What I did was I made a jig in Lightburn to do this up. Now, on this particular one, it called for quarter inch thick balsa for the entire piece. So I could have just laid this out in Lightburn stuck a sheet of balsa in the laser and cut it all out. I was actually wanting to use different types of wood in here. In fact, I've got light ply, uh, basswood, and balsa all in this one piece. A uh, little heavier than if it was just balsa, but extremely stiff. Okay. So, but I did not want to have to go do it all this, right? Especially that hardwood. So, I laid the piece out, and then I burn it on just an old board. With this old board, I can take, in these areas, you can see where the, the, the deep burns are, and light burn, and I can just draw a line, and I think I use the color blue. I set my speed and my power and my number of passes for the color blue, right? All the other, I changed to a different color and actually turned the output off on all other colors except blue. So I can go in, set those two marks, and then just lay a piece of wood across it and set the laser to run, and it cut out the pieces that I wanted wherever I had it set. Okay? One other thing I did, because I wanted to be able to reuse this, is I put these registration marks on here. I can uh, use the print and cut feature in Lightburn, so I can just lay this thing in my laser, set these in the print and cut feature, and it lines this up with what's on my screen, and so I can reuse this again and again and again. Here's my jig in Lightburn. And basically, I drew it off of the tail of the, the elevator. Now, here it is. Now, I selected the whole thing and, like, changed it to black and put the piece of scrap wood in there and ran, a, like, a 50 speed, uh, 50 power just to etch the, the main thing on there and then shut that output off. And then... Blue, I ran line and on mine, it's a 10 watt laser, ran a six speed, 100 power. Still had to do like four passes to get the hardwood cut. But all I got to do is lay a piece of wood across here. And then I went in to each little spot and drew a line. And I can change that to blue on that one. Come down here. Need a cut there, change that to blue, and uh, so I have a blue line down there, a blue line right there, lay my piece of wood down through there. I've got the outputs turned off to everything except blue, so when I hit start and run, the laser comes over and does a cut there, and does a cut there. Then I take the piece out. I have the plans laying out there and start laying it out 
and and piecing it together. And then you just got to remember to come back and like change that to a, a different color, whatever you're using that doesn't have any output. And then you can do another one, like say for instance, uh, I want to go faster and do less repetitions cutting balsa because it'll catch on fire as opposed to cutting hardwood. And so like on red right here, I could just set that to say a, a speed of 10 or 12 or something like that and go ahead and run 100 power and then double click on there and on number of passes, maybe just do one at a time. Cause as long as it's laying there, um, like say if you wanted to run balsa down through the middle section, then you would just um, set it up to run whatever color that you had your settings on, right? And then make sure outputs are turned off on all the other colors. And let's say if we wanted a speed of 100, power of 20, you could turn that output on. And then that red color, which I believe is number 10, no, number two red. See the two right there. And so if I wanted to cut this with balsa, I'll select that, turn it to number two, select the other end, turn that to number two, lay my piece of wood in there, click start, and the laser will go. Shoo, shoo. Okay, makes sense. Hope that. Uh, helps you out.